Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. And we have good sound. And we have good coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. The coffee is good. Let's see if we bring this up on, uh, yeah, we're broadcasting. Stream manager. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. And like I said, good morning, Twitch, on this zero point. Or zero two point eleven point two thousand twenty two. Current time is zero five twenty eight. We're ahead of schedule despite little spills. <laughs> Side joke there. Um, yeah, it's zero five twenty eight a.m. here in the the southern tier of upstate New York where I live and reside on this Friday. We made it to Friday, folks. Thank God it's Friday. And the audio is coming in pretty good. The intro music, I've got it coming off of the uh, iPad Mini. So maybe uh, the bugs are worked out here. It's uh, sounding pretty good here. Let's see. Let me hear it as it winds out. Let me listen to the, the music. And I think it's an even mix. You can hear my voice. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, yesterday uh, I had it coming from the. Uh, I had it coming from the, uh, the desktop, so I went back to the iPad Mini, and I think that's working out quite well now. So good morning, Chris. Uh, hump, or, uh, thank God it's Friday. You know, it's, and uh, I do have the coffee. Um, our last broadcast Wednesday, we had a coffee issue. But uh, the missus took care of that. Which she bought a new uh, Quasinar, I believe it is. Um, it's not bad. It's a good cup of coffee. It has those filters that uh, that cone. They're like a cone shape, and I think that's you know think about that. The coffee's in there, the water's coming down, and it. I think it it makes a better cup of coffee. You can tell the difference. Uh, I see. I think Randy W. Horton, when he makes some coffee, uh, he puts the filter in it uh, in the jar and he pours the coffee over the coffee, the hot water over the coffee that's in the cone. It's in like a cone thing. So uh, I think it makes for a good cup of coffee here. So um, we're here broadcasting here. We got Chris uh, and uh, out there in Deming, New Mexico, and. Um, it's Friday. We've got through the week. It's all that matters and stuff as far as that goes. Uh, a uh, uh, a quick week, I think. You know, being the first week back after taking. Uh, uh, yeah, thank God it's Friday, Chris. Yes, um, just got to get through the day job, which is a that's a simple process. So um, the workflow there is is gone pretty good this week. No major issues or anything like that. Even the weather has been decent. Uh, uh, it was pretty nice there yesterday. I think it's going to be nice today. I, I'm looking at ahead of next week. We're going to get 50 degree weather or something like that. But currently here in the southern tier of upstate New York, uh, we we are at about anywhere from 27 from what it says on the web page. Oh, well, that's 28. That's about right. Okay, they're they're evenly matched. It's about 28 degrees Fahrenheit um, this morning. Cloudy and some sun. Uh, this morning with morning clouds for this afternoon high of 49 degrees so we might top 50 this today holy crap that's something out there in Deming with 39 degrees they are now 65 for the high so uh, but we might we might if it says 49 we're gonna probably hit 50 I bet you oh that's nice wind south uh, at 10 to 20 miles an hour that might keep it a little cooler there, the wind. Um, 
Sun will be rising this morning at 0708, which is another hour and 30, eh, give it an hour and 6 minutes, 5 minutes there or something like that, give or take a minute or two. And that's what, 0708 a.m. And uh, the sun will be setting at 5.33 p.m. The days are definitely getting longer. And this, the moon has, has uh, set. The moon set this morning, what, at 3, 3.48. And it is wake. It's a waxing Gibson, 73% visibility. Uh, sunrise over there in New Mexico, 6.57. If, if they say it's 7.08 a.m. here, you would figure there's a three-hour difference, Chris. It would be, it would be four. Where do they get six? <coughs> oh, wait a minute. When it's rising, we're seeing it, and it's still the curvature. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. 6.57. Okay. There's adjustments there. <laughs> Think about it, Richard. Science. Oh. So um, it looks like we'll, we're going to have a very pleasant day. Let's see, 47 starting right around, they're getting about 40 degrees right around lunchtime, 40, 43, and then it, it zips up at about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock to 47. And uh, it's going to be the 40s going into later tonight at 11 p.m. It's forecasted for 44 degrees. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets. Um, so there's our weather. Um, let's see. I do have an interesting article. I don't know if I'm going to read the article. It depends on how I feel now, I, just, I guess, as far as that goes. Let me see. Let's see what... Uh, um, and uh, So uh, was it the other day... Of course, you know, uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about... The, the other platform that I had a, a Freudian slip there. I don't know if did you see that, Chris, at the beginning of uh, my Wednesday broadcast. I slipped and I said good morning, that other platform, twice before I realized it's like, oh, shit. Um, I make no no bones. I, I, I'm still on that platform. I just don't broadcast like I do here on Twitch. I don't broadcast myself over there. I do post things as far as uh, uh, presenting them um, over there, which they have that capability. It's still, it's still wonky. Um, my overall feeling is still, you know, with, uh, you know, nothing personal, but it, it is a one, one star platform. As far as that goes, nobody's tweeting out uh, their broadcasts over. Oh, speaking of which, Thanks for reminding me, Rich. <laughs> I got to tweet this out. Let's go ahead and tweet this out. I can tweet this out just like that. I don't see anybody over on the other platform tweeting it out. Though, uh, they, they st I, I s listened to a few broadcasts yesterday. They, they, supposedly, they're they're having uh, notification issues or something like that. I still have notifications. I've got, uh, let's see, I got five pending notifications, I guess, on my tab here for that pl platform. So, I'm still on it. And I've expressed that to... Uh, one person in particular, but uh, oh, there we go. Um, oh, Tony D. Central Jail College vet concern. Vet concern after four thousand pop. Oh, I have to. Tony's up. I'm gonna have to like that one. Tony. Uh, Tony D. He broadcasts over on the other platform. He just posted a. Uh, um, Tony D. Is at Tony. Tone 163, and uh, he just posted something up about veterans and stuff like that. And uh, we give you a salute, Tony. Tony is a, a veteran of the military, and uh, we greatly appreciate his service. He's a good guy, and he's one of the broadcasts that, um, or if I see him in a broadcast, I'll be in the chat and stuff. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for retweeting um, the the Twitch thing. I just took, I appreciate that. I always appreciate that, Chris. You know that. Uh, it's, it's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated, sir. Um, so, uh, but Tony D is a great guy, and um, I like listening to him. He's, uh, um, I, I jump in his chat on that other platform, so I'm still on the platform. P 
people think you have to broadcast to be on that platform. No, you don't. You don't. And uh, I expressed that. But there was an update, I guess, uh, um, not yesterday, but the day before, which would be, uh, um, let's see, today's the 11th. So that would have been uh, Wednesday, the 9th. Or was it the 8th? I don't know. It's either the 8th or 9th. By the way, uh, yeah, I was just talking about that, Chris. I'm just talking about that now. It, it has an update that uh, I noticed and I, I have. And um, I mentioned on somebody's broadcast uh, yesterday just before ha sitting down for dinner. And we will be getting to the dinner report, Chris. We'll do th a few things here first. Um, I like all these key words that <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. These key words that remind me to do things here on the broadcast. Um, but uh, I was on a broadcast and I, I chimed in uh, from the um, uh, the Twitch side, but I did make one one chat entry on the that other platforms uh, side. And I mentioned about the update and the update I updated it on the, the the phone here and I don't see what what did they update? There's nothing on there. They say something about uh, um, you, know, you, you do something in your profile or something like that. that but I don't see any if you update, you should see a significant improvement, but it's the same crap. We're coming up on uh, uh, the 11th, which is uh, is today. Actually, yeah, that's what is it. it, it uh, so we got uh, November, it'd be December, January. It's been three months. Th yeah, there's a little improvement on the sound. Okay, there's there's improvement on the sound. Uh, the picture is okay, but it's wonky. And uh, if you use OBS, it pixelates out, you know, at times. So what improvement? It's the same crap that you started with three months ago. So. Uh, uh, they fixed the screen sharing feature. The screen sharing fix. That that's. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're just lucky. That platform is just lucky. They have people over there that are still broadcasting. They're worth to go over there to listen to and stuff, and uh, to say hi to and stuff and. Uh, a few of them are, uh, you know, they're getting a little on edge because they're, they're trying to talk up the platform as being a good platform, and it's not. It doesn't even come close to being, you know, other than the fact that you can bring people in. Okay, you know, ha uh, Blab did that, okay? You can do that here on Twitch using StreamYard. You know, say, oh, you have to use StreamYard. It's seamless. You can use it if uh, you have somebody you want to bring up and stuff like that, but... Uh, um, you know, they talk it like it's the, uh, the the new messiah as far as, uh, you know, broadcasting. But there's nobody new over there. Okay, they got people over there on the feature, the musicians and stuff like that. But they're not going to survive doing that, you know, with the, their false numbers. And they are fa They have to be false numbers. You know, you see a broadcast, somebody, I, I, they're just popping on there and they get 294,000 views. You know, there's that's not, there's not even... <laughs> There's not even that many people that utilize the app, I guess. So, I don't know. Uh, blank is full of drama. Yeah, it, it settled down a little bit since um, Vanita's uh, passing and stuff. So, I think everybody's worked through that. And you're going to have drama. You know, it, it's 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 just inevitable and stuff. But they're trying to control it. Uh, Tina, good morning. Good morning, Tina. Tina is in the uh, the chat. and uh, But they fixed the screen sharing feature. Yeah, maybe I'll try it this weekend when I do. I, I, I have been doing the last couple Sundays a music thing there. I, I can do that. Um, I did try uh, posting a, uh, uh, a Dan Bangino uh, episode 170 that talks about uh, Joe Rogan and uh, the current situation that's going on up there in Canada. And um, can you believe that frickin' Prime Minister, he's, he's trying to tote those individuals as uh, terrorists? Not actually calling them that, but insinuating. It's just like they're they're a peaceful protest. Um, so, but uh, there's been an update. I updated it. I have seen no difference as far as that goes. Um, but the, you know the thing is with the app update. I'm talking about the app update now, Chris. Uh, I, you can't screen share on the app. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I guess I, I updated the app on my cell phone okay and uh, you cannot uh, so I might have to log out log back in to see what that uh, 
what you're saying about is is true on the it's may, that may be true on the desktop but from the app you cannot do screen share as far as that goes you can just bring somebody up and that's it that's the only function so that's what I'm talking about the app itself when you see it on the the phone there's Oh, and uh, the thing, what do they say? They call it, they don't call it portrait, they call it a vertical view. <laughs> like that, what's the difference? It's portrait. We want landscape. And and like I said, for me to broadcast this back over there, they're going to have to come back with landscape. But I'm not holding my breath on that as far as that goes. So um, there we have it. And uh, But it's it's pretty good to, to talk to those individuals over there. I think the individual I talked to yesterday was a little surprised. It's our Canadian friend up there in uh, Toronto um, who, <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I just want to say, just shut up. <laughs> no. no, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, and uh, I wish him the best as far as that goes. But he has to realize uh, Twitch is still, it is and always will be a better platform than that platform. That's why I'm here. Um, I, I like it. The, the the quality is good. The sound is 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 second to none, and uh, um, you know they've got it right. You know you can broadcast here. Uh, it, it's you, you can use OBS with no issues. That's because of the gaming community. Thank you, the gaming community. Thanks to the gaming community, um, they use Streamlabs and all sorts of things. It's uh, um, it's not just for gaming though. Look what I'm doing right here. I'm in a chat. I'm just doing chatting here, chatting with all my my friends here that are in the chat window, and uh, we appreciate it. And uh, uh, as far as that goes, and so to compare that other platform to this platform, that other platform needs Twitch to to tote its simul broadcasting. But do you really need that? You can simul broadcast in OBS now. From what I'm saying, and that's probably been around for a while. I don't know. You could probably confirm that, Chris, as far as OBS, because you're you're actually using it more. You can you can uh, use OBS and and uh, what you you're you're testing it with uh, your posse there with uh, Skype, I believe, and working quite well. So there's multiple. So to say that other platform is really improved, real, where's the new people? I'm seeing the same people there and as far as that goes and that is a measuring stick right there so it's been three months no change if anything it there's less broadcasts over there and um and and some sometimes even on the weekend it's crickets yes obs works great with skype see there you go you know that, that's real time obs works great with skype it works good with uh, uh here on uh twitch works fantastic on twitch once you dial in you know your uh, you know settings to the sweet spot and uh, over there on that other platform nah it doesn't work you know you could the virtual cam will work but then it craps out depending you know so they don't it, it's it's nothing nothing uh, um, that uh, is really uh, earth shattering over there so uh, um, and like I said, I get on my soapbox here and talk, and we're already at 18, 19 minutes here. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to go ahead with a, a interesting article, I think. Let's see. And, well, you can use it over there. Yeah, and they don't support where they, they, they're, they're updating. You know, that's why, I guess that's the point I'm getting. They had an update on the app. I see nothing different on the app with that update. Other than okay, they can have a, a time change. I'm thinking, uh, you know, maybe I should update my uh, my verbiage and my one star rating with them. <laughs> it went to a two star to one star after Bobby Bickner had a problem. She was using OBS about it was crystal clear up until about uh, 35 the, the last 10 minutes of her 45 minute broadcast, and it just crapped out on her and stuff. And she was very upset. So I just I didn't really care for that. So. Uh, um, uh, they're a one star now, you know. For them to go to from a one star back up to a two and pops possibly a three star, they would have to bring back landscape. Again, I'm not going to hold my breath. It's not going to happen. So uh, it is what it is, you know. It's just uh, um, I'm only talking about this because they've had a recent update and I don't see anything um, that shows any type of improvement. So, um, um, but interesting art. What do I have for an interesting article? Let's see. I think it was about this this ancient tree. 
or are we about to witness a supermass black hole merge? Oh, that's an interesting one. I saw a headline. There was uh, they're they're watching the astronomers and stuff. A black hole move across. It's called a rogue black hole. I'm gonna have to see if I can find that. And uh, oh, you know what I can do? Oh, I gotta I gotta tell you this story. It came out on the news. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. And uh, um, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. I was going to, you know, the, the, yesterday I was almost going to go ahead and broadcast on there. <laughs> and, I, and I was, the title was, would have been Never Say Never. And I, I just couldn't bring myself to broadcasting my face over there as far as that and get into the chat. It, it just, it's not worth it. Um, I'm using as it a posting platform to let those people know that I'm still here, you know, see, I'm posting up uh, this video, I'm posting up this music and stuff, and uh, I'm compromising my, my views on uh, um, copyright by doing that, I wouldn't do that on any other platform, oh, uh, let me see if I can find this, this, uh, this article, because it is freaking hilarious, um, Oh, here it is. Here it is. No, that's the ice cream shop. There's an ice cream shop that's for sale over in, or here in Owego, New York. And uh, um, where the hell is that? Um, okay, there's the ice cream one. There's the deer. There's the mask. Uh, lo let me load more articles. Why don't we go ahead and go with the... Well, no, let me bring in the um, the thought for the day. Well, that's... Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go... Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's go to the thought for the day. The thought for the day... I don't know who wrote this thought for the day, but I, I saw it pop up in my queue. And, um, you know, for my quotes and all that. So our thought for the day, give you something to think about, is an interesting one. And... Um, it's always a positive because this is a, a, a broadcast that's a positive start to the day. And that's the thing. The, uh, the, this one individual, our Canadian friend there, thought I, I wasn't, you know, he's, because I'm not doing this morning broadcast over there, I'm not doing anything. No, I've been here. I've been here since they changed three months ago. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still on this Internet. I'm still broadcasting. And uh, I'm grateful to have the people that are in the chat there um uh as far as that goes and uh so it's one of those things that you know it's just like i don't think the person realized when they they say that individuals you know you left no i'm still here um just because you know it, it's just like that other platform is not all encompassing so uh i choose to come over here just like a whole host of others that didn't really care uh the crap that that other platform changed into um let's see our thought for the day and i gotta get, i gotta be kind here all right our thought for the day i don't know who wrote this but it's a good thought for the day something to think about do your little bit of good where you are it's those little bits and i'm not talking about twitch bits so don't start giving me twitch bits there chris <laughs> don't give me any bits chris i don't need them and stuff hold them off to another broadcaster that needs them and stuff um but uh in those little bits of good put together um they overwhelm the world so you know if we all collectively do a little bit of kindness every day it just makes this world that much better that's what it said that i guess that's my takeaway on that do your little bit of good where you are it's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. So there's our uh, thought for the day. As far as that goes. Um, let me get to this. Uh, I'm not going to... This is an interesting article. This is a funny article. Okay, this is from... Uh, uh, this is coming from uh, WNBF News Radio, which I listen to. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's on the... the it, it, was strictly on the AM, but they have an FM. It's I think it's ninety two point one, but it's a WNBF radio news radio, twelve ninety AM, and they're also on ninety two dot one FM, but it's twelve ninety WNBF. But uh, this is about <laughs> this is funny. I had to laugh. I was and I was I was thinking about going um, on. Come on, get down there. 
What's going on here? I think I got too many tabs open. What the hell? Oh, let me refresh it. If it's going to refresh. Let's see. When um, Tina, you're saying yes, so I take it you're agreeing with that thought for the day as far as that goes. And um, I, I think so too. Okay, what's going on here? What is going on? Let's get rid of that. that. Seems like my Surface 3 is just. Uh, now we'll get rid of that. Let's see if that does the trick. No? Let's see. Uh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Christopher. How you doing, Christopher? Top of the morning for you. Of course, it's still... Uh, oh, I can't. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. And Chris saying good morning to Chris Technician. Okay, is this going to work or what? Let's see. My Surface 3 is gumming up for some reason. Okay, here we go. What the hell? There it is. Is that stay? What is going on with this? I have no idea. Let's see. Well, there's always, <laughs> I always have to have that one. Uh, let's see, Christopher, I am good. Saying good morning to Tina also. Thank you, Chris, for being, Christopher, for being here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's do this all over again. Okay, now it's moving. Okay. Um, and we have a few extra minutes here. I started early, which is which is good. I would have started five minutes early if it wasn't for a spill that I had to clean up. Um, let's see. And this is going to be worth it because it is funny. It's a, it's a news article that um, it's a lo something that happened local here up there in Binghamton. It was at a Dunkin' Donuts, okay? So uh, what do you get at Dunkin' Donuts? You get... Uh, uh, you get donuts, of course, and um, but you can also get bagels. <laughs> I like bagels. As a matter of fact, I'll probably be having one. We got one left that's in the freezer from last week that I'll have tomorrow. But uh, here we go. Here we go. It's going now. Bagel rage. Man punches out window at Broom, Dun Broom Dunkin' Donuts. So this is a Dunkin' Donuts that's in, in Broom County up there in Binghamton, New York. And this is coming from WNBF News Radio 1290. A passenger in construct a passenger in a construction truck flew into a rage when he discovered a mistake in his order at the Binghamton area Dunkin' Donuts shop. The angry man emerged from the vehicle at the business near the Oakdale Mall in Johnson City. Okay, so this is the the one in Johnson City, and began punching. Uh, the drive through window shortly before 10 a.m. this past Tuesday. The village police, Johnson City Village Police, said the furious customer tried to pry open the window. No injuries were reported. A Dunkin' Donuts employee said the man was upset about a mistake involving a $3.55 bagel. The truck, bearing the name and phone number of the Broome County Construction Company, uh, was driven by a woman. The employee said the enraged man was yelling and swearing during the dispute, which occurred while several other vehicles were waiting in the drive-thru. Sounds like something Randy would experience, right? The truck, uh, with the upset customer, eventually drove off. The shop employee said the window... Um, mechanism still needed attention after the incident so they've got the company's name they can just go ahead and you know you know <laughs> so this came up bagel rage it's a thing now <laughs> over three dollar and 55 cent bagel 
Um, let's see. Oh, no, the technical difficulties was on the uh, the browser there. It wasn't, uh, it just got gummed up. Yeah, we're going to get the dinner report right here next here. Oh, my. Oh my, Dunkin' Donuts always makes mistakes. Yeah, but it was, you know, the, the bigger mistake was the guy trying to freaking break the window. <laughs> and that's funny. Bagel rage, you know. There's, there's a bagel boy that if he didn't get his bagel, he's going to go into a bagel rage. He punches out window. And, <laughs> and uh, that's in Johnson City. Johnson City, uh, you, you've got Binghamton, Johnson City, Vestal, Endicott, uh, Endwell. They're... they're it's a triple cities area they call it and stuff like that in Broome. It's uh, it's uh, um, Binghamton being you know Binghamton is a, it's not as large as uh, Syracuse. Binghamton and Elmira are about this. There's small cities here in the southern tier, and I'm right in the middle here in the Wego stuff. So that's funny. I, I saw that. I just laughing my ass off. It's funny, and uh, as far as that goes. Okay, let's go ahead and go with the dinner report because I got a good dinner report for myself last night here. And um, go ahead, uh, Chris. Chris Technician's Dinner Report is a um, Chris Technician original that we broadcast here or present at, on this broadcast here uh, for the morning coffee. And uh, it is also presented over there on uh, um, Randy W. Horton, a good friend of all of ours, uh, uh, broadcast. He gives a dinner report over there. And Chris Technician comes in with chicken bacon ranch sandwich from Domino's. Ooh. The chicken bacon ranch. This 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 the sound of that sounds good. And uh, let's see, that's a little bit too. My forehead is whiting out from this this lamp that sits up on the. It's all whited out here. I gotta put the shadow there. <laughs> I should wear a hat. Um, I don't know if you want to come in with a, your dinner report, Tina. Uh, we had Mario's Pizza from uh, right here in Owego, New York. Uh, look up Mario's, Mario's in a Mario's Pizza in Owego, and I got to do you know when I I picked up the two pizzas after work, the the wife chimed in and um, called it in, and I picked it up at uh, four fifteen after getting out of work, and uh, let's see, Tina comes in with ooh salad and brown rice was making pork chops, but had too much for lunch at Wendy's. Oh <laughs> so. So your dinner report basically is you had Wendy's and you, uh, oh salad and brown rice was making pork chops but too much oh you were gonna have that but you had too much Wendy's okay um, so we had Mario's pizza che two two large cheese pizzas and Christopher comes in with lasagna and salad with garlic bread that's good Tina um, Chris. Chris Technician, he loves Wendy's. Wendy's, yeah, they make a good, they make, their fries are good. Their fries are outstanding um, as far as that goes. But we had Mario's Pizza, and to give them a plug, the, the, it's a family-owned uh, pizzeria. They, they make great food. Uh, they make some fantastic subs. I go there instead of going to Subway because it's a better, it, I, I think it's a lot fresher, uh, to be honest with you. Um, their sandwiches have always been great. Their pizzas are you know, as soon as I get the word that the, the, the missus says, uh, how about, what do you think about picking up uh, two pizzas from uh, pizzas from Mario's? I, I there's no no. <laughs> it's always a yes, yes, um, yes. Argue with uh, she likes Tina. Yes, argued with D D A U. Whoever she likes McDonald's. Whoever that is. Um, we might go to our local sports bar tonight for dinner. Oh, okay, that's always good to support the local, uh, and that's what it is as far as going to Mario's. It's supporting the local uh, uh, businesses, and um, there's also they all, okay Friday night karaoke. That's always good. That's fun. I don't really, I don't like getting into karaoke. I think I did karaoke once over on that other platform, and it's like yeah, it it it's who you're with. Is, is what makes it fun stuff and you'll be with family Chris so there are you gonna be with your friends out that way you're going with family you're going with with people that you care about so you know you don't normally go into a local bar and stuff like that, a local restaurant sports bar there unless you you're with people that you thoroughly want to enjoy because <laughs> uh, family okay there you go that's good that's good um, 
and we'll probably get a good dinner report tomorrow on tomorrow's broadcast because I have to go. Um, this uh, we're at 35 minutes and stuff like that. So um, um, I, you know, I get. I guess when I get talking about that other platform, I just I might as well shelve the interesting article and stuff. I, I, I have been doing the interesting articles on the Anchor Morning Audio, which, uh, um, you know, it, it, the difference, again, the difference between doing audio and live stream. In this live stream, I have you folks, and I tell you, that's, it's, you know, audio is good, but this is even better because the interaction is really good. You're going with your dad and stepmom. Very good, very good. I, and you have a good night uh, uh, at the sports bar and stuff like that. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and um, exit stage left, and hopefully this music comes in. Um, let me see. It doesn't get choppy or anything like that, let's see. Where's my cursor? There is my cursor. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check the sound out on this. It's still waiting. Yep, music's coming in. Okay, Tina, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a little choppy. It's a little choppy, but that's okay. Um, thank you, Tina. Thank you, uh, and uh, ciao and bye. Have a great one, Tina. Have a great one, Chris. Uh, you have a great Friday, and uh, Chris coming in. I, I think I forgot to say this last broadcast. Chris coming in, as always, bazanga. Bazanga is a word. Have a bazanga type of day today, okay? Bazanga coming from uh, Sheldon on uh, Big Bang Theory. And Christopher out there in Washington State, you have a great one too, dear guy. And uh, uh, we'll be seeing you all tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. I'm off. I know. And uh, we'll have a little bit longer broadcast tomorrow or, or whatever, so we'll, we'll get the day started tomorrow. But we have to get through today, so you guys all have a great Friday wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life, have fun, ciao for now. As always, peace. Take care, folks.